Tribeca Film Festival, right? Movies. <laughs> more, more, more movies, movies obviously. Better weather. Better weather, yes. A lot of exciting stars come in to support their movies and a lot of interesting tiny little movies that you wouldn't see anywhere else along with some big huge movies that you'll be glad you saw. And, and I think that's what Tribeca is all about. I mean, they kind of like, you know, nitpick and pick around, which is great. And, and it's so great that you're a part of this. I mean, I, it's just great to see you out and supporting this. Well, it's a great festival. I'm happy it's here. It does a, it does a great deal to help New York, and it did a lot to help New York during 9-11, and now it's just blossomed into one of the best uh, festivals in the world, I think. What's your current event, let's say? The immediate thing I'm doing is I'm acting in a Wes Anderson movie called Moonrise Kingdom uh, with Bruce Willis, Bill Murray, Francis McDormand, Jason Schwartzman, and some other great people. We start in uh, Newport, Rhode Island uh, next week, I think, and it's a wonderful movie. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I'm finishing my first book of a series of children's books that I'm writing called The Creature from the Seventh Grade. It will be published, the first comes out by, in about a year from Viking Penguin. And I'm, you know, producing and directing a bunch of stuff. Awesome. On behalf of the children, I'd like to thank you for coming out with a book for them to read. Especially in this day and age, our children need something a little wholesome to read. And we're so glad that you come out with something like that. diverse parts through the years. Can you please tell me what was probably your favorite film to be in? Which part you enjoyed the most, can I say? Ooh, uh, uh, maybe a film called Ride with the Devil. Uh, Ang Lee directed film about the Civil War that was kind of unsung because it was unsung, but also it was a great, we had a great time making the film. It was also a beautiful uh, historical examination of, you know, Civil War America. But I've had a pretty good time on the latest films I'm working on, so maybe it's uh, these, which we're not, I'm not quite finished with the last one. But I'm quite enjoying what I'm doing. She packed my bags last night, free for life. Zero hour, nine here. And I'm gonna be her as a kite by hand. The filmmakers here and the artists that gather here. Uh, really shine uh, a, a much needed light on the myriad cultures that are the world. You know, particularly coming after 9-11, uh, where there was a sense of misunderstanding about what those events, uh, w what inspired those events, to uh, have uh, perspectives from the Middle East, particularly at this time, uh, that, uh, that the, fe the, the, the festival tends to include uh, in large numbers, a really wonderful contribution to our understanding of the world and our understanding of ourselves. I'm going to be in a film called Cowboys and Aliens. It's coming out this summer. I've heard of that. I've heard July. of that. Great cast. Great filmmaker. Hopefully it's going to be badass. Um, and then I'm just finishing a film with Robert De Niro right now. Um, uh, my last scene with Bob was today, actually. Came here from work. So I'm a little sad right now, actually, because the film's ending. It's been a great experience. Uh, and I think we, you know, it's, it's a, it could be a good one. We've had a lot of great scenes together. And that's been uh, a real, real pleasure. <laughs>
we should all have our own signature hits, God willing. Thank you. Thank you very much.